Have you ever tried building an above ground pool in The Sims 2, but you get something that looks along the lines of this? Ow! Ow! Ow, why? Not to worry, because in today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to build above ground pools in The Sims 2 that are both aesthetically pleasing and functional for your summer loving Sims. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Kyle, you are watching Simmergetic, and let's jump right into this tutorial. So we are in build mode and you can use any size lot you want um, as long as you have enough room for a pool in the backyard, which is pretty self-explanatory. But for the first step of this tutorial, we are actually going to be building the frame of the pool first. So go over to your half walls. It doesn't really matter which wall you choose, but for the sake of this tutorial, and if you want your pool to look exactly like mine, go ahead and use one of these simple half walls. Go ahead and build the shape of our pool. You want to make sure that the width of your pool is at least five tiles wide. This way you have enough room to place your diving board and your ladder. The length of the pool is not very important, so you can make the length of this however long you want. Um, just leave enough room for your house, of course, unless you're building a community lot um, or a gym of, or something along those lines. And go over to your raise level terrain, make sure it is on small. You're going to make one square somewhere inside the pool that is six clicks high. Move your camera to ensure that that is flat. It's good. From here, we can go back to our pools. We're going to put one pool tile on top of that square that we just made. Perfect. Now go ahead and open your cheat box by typing Control Shift C and you're going to type in pool prop constrain floor elevation and what i like to do when i'm working with this sheet a lot is i like to highlight it and use Control c to copy it so that way i can just copy and paste as i'm building it really it's a real time saver you don't have to go in there and type it in every time um, so go ahead and type we'll prop constrain floor elevation false and hit enter we are now going to fill the interior or the inside of this pool um, pool tiles. Make sure there is that open space on the other side. I'm going to go one row past where, where the end of those walls meet. So you'll see I'm putting that extra row of pool tiles there. we are going to fill in the corners with some diagonal pools. And again, make sure the constraint for elevation cheat is set to false. This is very important for this step. Otherwise you will already be running into problems. We're going to be using the level terrain tool we are only going to be flattening the edges of the pool to ground level. Now you should have something that looks similar to this. As you can see, um, the level of our pool has stayed the same. Now 
At this point, we are going to make sure that we have plenty of space for Sims to swim so they don't sink into the edges of the pool. Just stay away from the corners that I have marked. You change one of those, the corners and the diagonals of your pool will look strange. So please stay away from those corners when you're doing this. But you're basically dragging from the center to the edges. Like I said, we are trying to get the most out of this pool that we can. Um, you can drag using your level terrain tool, drag it out um, towards the front of your yard. Just flatten it. It doesn't matter what shape it is. Just make sure that it is level with the pool. This is where the house is going to be. Go ahead and build your foundations. And let's go ahead and turn that cheat back off by typing in pool prop constrain for elevation true. We're going to build the foundation around the pool, leave ground level space for the ladder and the diving board. Or Tom, I won't judge you. Hey, it's not my business what you do in your free time with your Sims. I've been known a time or two to kill off my Sims. Who the hell hasn't? You will want to leave about three squares. It's just pretty much just up to you how much space you want where your diving board such is going to going to go. Um, if you want some lounge chairs down there. In this case, in this video, I'm building a whole deck. And like you see on the video, you might have to fiddle around with this deck a little bit. It's not the most complicated as long as you followed this tutorial up until this point, um, all the proper steps. Now somewhere outside of the pool, we're going to make that same square like we did earlier, but we're going to do a two click high square. Top of this square, we are actually going to do an, another foundation. Part that's kind of cool that I really love, as long as you followed everything, um, you can drag that foundation right up to that half wall. Make sure you leave an empty row for your stairs, and then you can build that foundation all the way around your pool. Now keep in mind that Sims will only be able to get into the pool on that little flat section of the terrain, so unfortunately they won't be able to jump into the pool from the foundation. But the overall look of it, I just absolutely love. It's a very versatile, versatile, however you say it, um, very versatile design, so you can pretty much make this your own, as you will see in these next few steps, but pretty much that's it. Then you can just add your modular stairs, add your lounge chairs, your railing, your barbecue pit, you know, all the necessities for like your backyard, for a backyard pool, anything you'd imagine. We are getting closer to the end of this tutorial. I will be making another video on different shapes of above ground pools. I will not include this in this video because I'm trying to keep it pretty short and sweet. And that's another opportunity for me to make more content. So I'm definitely always for more videos on my channel. But this about wraps it up for this video. Be looking out for two more videos for above ground pools right here on my channel. Exciting announcement, I will be streaming for the first time ever on Twitch later this week. Follow me on all of my social media accounts, at Simmergetic across the board, to keep up with all of those announcements. I will also be leaving a link to my Twitch down in the description, and soon I will have a Discord up for you guys to go and check out. My name is Kyle, and you are watching Simmergetic on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or let me know if this video just helped you. I greatly appreciate the feedback. And until next time, happy simming. Thanks for watching, guys.